Hello, our most valued student. My name is Confident. Welcome to our part three of our inequalities where I'm looking at how you can solve these inequalities. As I say, it is for grade 10, 11 and 12. And uh, you guys, if this is the first time coming across this channel, I will encourage you to subscribe to the channel as well as ensure the notification bell is turned on. One of the most important things is to leave your comments, leave your comments, leave uh, anything that you want us to know about how you are benefiting from the channel as well as please remember any question that you have we are, we are ready to assist now look at this question it says you need to solve for x and this is what we are given it's an inequality you don't have time to waste you need to get all the three marks as fast as you can what to do here as i said my encouragement is to go straight through the quadratic formula and you change that to be an equal sign so what you have is minus 2x squared all right plus 5x is equal to zero so it's like you're solving for x and when you're doing that you've got this is your a this is your b and we don't have our c so in this case our c is equal to zero so in the uh, quadratic equation x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a so what will be my x it will be equal to minus and then my b there is 5 plus or minus square root of b squared which is 5 squared all right minus 4 my a is negative 2 my c is 0 and then I said that I'm dividing by 2 and my a is negative 2. I prefer, as you say, the quadratic equation. You know why? Because it simplifies uh, things. It makes me come with my two answers much more simpler than um, sometimes what students end up uh, struggling to get even the answer because they just mix up things. So let's look at this, which is uh, negative 5 plus start with the positive one uh square root of five squared minus four my a is negative two my c is zero and then over uh two and my a is negative two i know someone is saying but this was too long and unnecessary but you know what i prefer it. the first one x is equal to zero and then play back and the other one is x is equal to 5 over 2. So x is equal to 0 or x is equal to 5 over 2. Someone will say, was there an alternative one? Yes, definitely. You needed um, to come here and it's just a simpler method here to say you should have actually factorized to say minus 2x squared plus 5x is equal to zero now you can see x is common take out x and you've got minus 2x plus 5 is equal to zero the problem is students usually freeze they get remember you're in a panic mode in the exam this is the first questions and you are panicking and most of the time you find students they just could get confused to say what do i do when i've got two items two terms here whenever you see the power two if you are confused always your go-to method is to use the quadratic equation so at this stage that's when you say x is equal to 0 or minus 2x plus 5 is equal to 0 minus 2x is equal to take that become negative 5 divide by negative 2 so what are you gonna have you're going to have x is equal to when you divide there it's 5 over 2 so you see that two values is the same one x is equal to that and x is equal to that now very important is find whatever method we're using but now i need to just to erase uh, this because what i'm interested in is the final answer you see the critical values are fine we have gotten the critical values but let's look at how you interpret the answer here remember our critical values is 0 and 5 over 2 now I'm going then to draw my number line to interpret what I have, what it means. So this is what I'm having. And then I've got my critical values. Remember, it is x is equal to 0 and 
5 over 2 or 2 and a half. So I'm going to have my values here as 0 and 5 over 2. Just to not to confuse yourself, you can actually say 2,5 so that you can understand that. These are my critical values. Remember, I need to choose um, my signs. I don't know whether this will be positive or negative here. If it's positive here, this will be negative and this will be positive. Or if it's negative, it will be positive and it will be negative. I don't know which one is which, but I need to test my values. For example, I choose a number in between 0 and 2,5. I can choose uh, a number like 1 here. I can choose a number before 0, like minus 3. These are the numbers you just test. I can choose a number after, like uh, 7. Any number that you can choose, you need just to focus on the signs. What sign is it going to give? So let's start with the center one. If I put a 1 here and I put a 1 there, I'm focused on the on the signs. So let's do that. Let's start with the center one, which is minus 2. Bracket. The first one is say it is 1 squared. Remember that. Plus 5 bracket 1. I'm interested in the signs, remember, it's a positive. So now let me try negative 3. You'll see what I get if it's negative 3. Remember, the center one was positive. This one is negative 3. What am I getting? Now I'm getting a negative. So it's negative, positive. Let's try 7. If, it, if it's correct, I'm supposed to get another negative. So let's put a 7 there. Um, here is that and I also need to put my 7 here like that so equal to you see I'm getting a negative so you saw that there is a negative appearing here there was a positive here it was a negative you can test again any number that you choose but you'll always get a pattern if it starts with a negative following must be positive and then a negative from here the question is how do you interpret your answer the question says less. So now since we are looking for less, you need to understand how to then have those negative, positive, negative becoming signs. Now negative stands for less than, positive stands for greater than, negative stands for less than. That's what it stands for. Uh, if I just do this to say this side stands for less this stands for greater this stands for less we have got that now we need to ask ourselves where is the sign in the in the diagram that we drew you can see that the sign is here in this region and it is also in that region so this is what we are having as the two areas where the sign is now we need to write our final answer now as i said the x always if it's on the outside you have your x and then this is the direction which is less is getting less and less so we've got that direction less than the critical value which is that which is zero in this case but it says less than or equal to we can also include the equal to on this other side we've got x this side is getting bigger and bigger but you can see it's greater than our critical value is 2,5 and then don't forget to include the equal to that's how you do these questions guys this is the last section I'm going to do I hope by now you are gaining more and more understanding tune again in the next lesson remember subscribing will always notify you whenever there are new videos share this channel to your friends guys share this channel to your friends we've come to the end of our lesson thank you